Hello everyone, would you like to make managing your parts for Warframes and weapons much much easier to manage and sell stuff at a great value and maybe find some hidden gems in your inventory that you didn't know about, maybe figure out if you have any sets or not, maybe you have so many prime parts uh, for Warframes and weapons that you have no idea what's going on anymore. Well in today's video I'll be showing you basically an inventory manager great for new players, old players, just an amazing app to have and use inside of Warframe and without any further ado I am your lovely host the gaming weasel and let's get right into this and of course the application that we are talking about is going to be Aleka Frame now you can get this application through the link down in the description below or if you already have Overwolf installed you can just basically start with the program go to store search it up right here and type in Aleka and you will be able to get it through of course Overwolf now, you're going to be greeted by uh, this screen. It is going to show you all your Prime Warframes and everything. Right here, it's going to also show you your currencies and everything, the phases on the open worlds. Uh, also, keep in mind, Oleka Frame needs to be turned on before, uh, of course, Warframe itself, so keep that in mind. And also, if you're having any issues, you can actually just, you know, uh, troubleshoot her through here. I personally didn't have any issues, so I'm guessing you shouldn't either. So, right here, let's get on to the main business at hand. Right here, we have if it's mastered or not, if you have owned it before or own it at the moment. And we also have if it's vaulted or not, the Warframe and the weapon that you are checking up. Green uh, highlighted in the green background means you already have that item. And of course, if it's grayed out, then you don't. So, clicking on Atlas Prime is going to pop up with, of course, his stats, his abilities, his passive, and the wiki link to, of course, the Atlas Prime. Now, let's say I only need his Prime Blueprint. Right here, clicking on it is going to reveal how many relics I actually have for the Blueprint itself, and what are the drop chances of it actually dropping. I can also sell it and or buy it from other players on the Warframe market. You do need to connect your Warframe market account to your uh, Aleka frame. By clicking on a certain name, it's going to allow you to private message them in game. So basically just go back into game and private message that person. Right here you can sell how many units you want and or uh, are selling and what, what price you're selling it at. So that is pretty goddamn cool. Going to normal Warframes right here. You're going to see which ones have been mastered and everything. Same basically as the Prime variants. Right here we have a little bit of filters. So you can filter it and master if you have it or not. If it's vaulted, ready to build, enough uh, mastery. Basically, it's, I mean, it's like self, uh, I can't speak. Self-explanatory. As you can see, I have never made Bone Widow. Uh, she is, of course, not vaulted because she's not a Prime Warframe. So, and I have also none of the parts either. Going to weapons, as you can see right here, this is an easy access to find out which weapons have not been leveled up. For example, I have a lot of weapons here, like let's say the Similar. I only need the blueprint itself. I have every single resource that I possibly do need, but I have not uh, gotten the blueprint. In this little box, we can see the uh, minimum max rank for that weapon. So that is very, very cool. Same goes for weapons, uh, for the other, I guess, weapon categories, also uh, companions and arch guns themselves. Now, going to the juicy bit of the video. Going to your inventory. Now, right here, uh, you're going to see all your prime of Warframe parts. You can see what you can sell them and or buy them for, if you're going to see if they're vaulted or not. And if you already have a listing of the Warframe market, this little icon is going to be right here. Now, you can sort it by uh, these categories right here. I always oh, sold it for Platinum. As you can see, the Neja Prime Neurontics can be sold for 19 Platinum, so that is pretty cool. But sometimes, it might be a little bit better to wait it out and make a full set. So, uh, weapon parts also. You can see some weapon parts right here. Again, you can sort it by ducats. You can sort it by uh, name if you want, by uh, ducinator, which is basically ducats to platinum value. So, if it's worth uh, to sell more into ducats than, uh, than in platinum. Uh, and again, platinum themselves. So, maybe you have some Warframe and or weapon parts that you didn't know about and you want to, you know, sell those. Uh, keep in mind, if it doesn't have a green tick, that means you have not actually used use that item or never owned it before which means most likely you have never had that you know, weapon crafted relics same goes for relics you can see the 
uh, buy and sell value and also if you uh, go and click on the relic you're gonna see where it drops you can see what ports it has inside of there and you can see uh, change how many people there are in your squad what are the chances and then every single one of the four I guess uh, squad mates has it radiant then you have a 34.4% chance of getting the Tatsu Prime handle which can be sold for 42 platinum which is pretty goddamn cool. Keep in mind in the bottom uh, right hand side of this little screen you can see the total platinum value in your certain items so let's go into weapon parts as you can see I can sell uh, all of this for 125 platinum and or 330 ducats of course some items don't have a ducat value same goes for mods right here you can see basically all your mods that you have. Uh, right here you can see if it's equipped on something or not, if it's leveled up or not, and you can also see the rank right here and the current price of that item. So that is really, really cool. Maybe you have an item that you didn't know was actually, you know, worth some platinum. Like for example, I would never say that enemy radar or medi ray was worth this much, but apparently it is. So you can actually sell it for that amount of platinum. So that's quite, quite cool. Also, arcanes, same goes for arcanes, you can check them up on right here, you can also sort them by name if you want to, ducats doesn't really make a, uh, that much sense, you can also say, uh, set it by amount, for example, you need uh, 21 to level up an arcane, there you go, you can actually max this arcane out, so that's quite cool. Same goes for miscellaneous, usually weapons are listed here uh, that you have bought from Barakatir or gotten through events. And then we have the sets. Now, this is the interesting part. As you can see, this uh, Lato Vandal set is not ticked in green, which means I have never leveled this weapon up, which means it would be preferable when I do get the Lando Vandal Blueprint to actually not sell it for the Platinum, but actually get myself uh, the set and then maybe sell the next set that I get. Of course, you can see which parts you're missing and which parts you're not. You can see the value of the actual set itself. Uh, you can sort it which ones are the closest uh, to be, I guess, um, you know, made. You can sell it to the, uh, I guess, uh, minimum platinum amount and complete sets. Let's say yes. For example, I only have the Broken War set, so I can sell that set. If I don't have that, then I can, you know, for example, go to uh sets complete no and then it's gonna show me everything that i don't have i guess a set uh done now for example i only need the denied this prime blueprint actually to get myself a set so maybe purchasing it for that one juicy platinum i will be able to get myself 38 platinum or 37 platinum profits so sometimes as i said much much better to actually get yourself uh, the one part that you need to craft a set. Now, Relic Planner. Now, this is one of the most interesting parts of the actual video. First of all, on the screen right now, you're going to be seeing a little bit of a demonstration inside of the Relic uh, menu screen. Right here, it's going to show you what of your relics is the best to choose for platinum profit uh, or you can change it for of course uh ducat profit keep it at platinum i personally prefer keeping it platinum but if you want more ducats i guess that's pretty cool as well and also another cool thing that this application does when it's turned on in game of course is when you finish a relic run it will show you what part of course, or what, I guess what's the platinum value of that port, what is the ducat value, and maybe it's uh, you're really close to crafting a set, it's actually going to show you that, for example, like this prime part is going to be amazing because you're going to have to, you know, complete the set and maybe sell it for uh, loads and loads of platinum as the set. So, that is quite cool. Now, moving back to the Aleka frame, let's say I want to sort it for platinum profit, and then squad of four, I have a full squad, me and my lads are ready to play. Right here you can uh, type in Volted or Not, all rewards, you know, stuff like this, basically everything like this. Uh, let's say uh, equal or more, uh, you know, to, to, to what's called 10 amounts, so that's going to be pretty cool. So with, let's let's go to Lith T6. As you can see right here, the Tiburon Prime uh, stock is going to be amazing if I put it to Radiant, uh, then I have a 34% chance with me and my squad mates, so that's 14 Platinum at a 434% chance, pretty goddamn good. Now, if I want to just remove the filters, and let's say I want to do only Neo runs, and then I want to sort it for Platinum, full squad, as you can see, this one is going to be the most profitable Valkyr Prime chassis, 
42 and then let's say put it a radiant 42 uh what's it called platinum for one of them and i have sadly only one but if i wanted to of course sort it for more then this neo p2 is going to be the most profitable uh at the nine platinum for the pandero prime receiver so a really really cool uh i guess application part i really do love this of course highlight in green means you have that item currently in your inventory if it's checkered then you already had it before but you do not have it currently keep that in mind you also have ribbons uh this is i don't think it's fully fledged out yet but yeah, you can sell your veiled ribbons, you can sell your unveiled ribbons. Uh, if you click on trade, then you can, of course, you know, put a description, select the weapon, select uh, what kind of level if it is, and then, you know, uh, sell it or they like sell or auction or public or private and stuff like that. You also can search right here, enter Warframe, market the ribbon URL, and then just check it up on there as well. So that's quite, quite cool. But I don't think this is fully fledged out. This literally appeared. Yeah, I was recording this video for like the fifth time and it only appeared like this like the fourth time, so that was quite interesting, but uh nonetheless a cool little feature to have. So basically that is a lack of frame. An amazing application for new and old players alike. A really good application to have. I personally use this almost all of the time when I'm doing relic runs because this is an amazing way to make a good amount of profit in Warframe and complete the sets that you maybe need. So if you did, guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, do leave a like, a comment, and do subscribe for more. This has been the Gaming Weasel. Over and out.